Hey guys, Tom with Buy Me and iPhone.com back at you today, and today we're going to take a look at another GPS app. Okay, today's GPS app is N Drive, and I know that we've reviewed five or six of these GPS apps, and uh, I thought we were all done with them, but a couple of more keep popping out on the market, so we're going to take a peek at them, and that way you guys have all the information on all the GPS applications out there, and you guys can pick the one that's best for you. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at N Drive. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the den, take a look at the user interface, go through all that for you, all the menus and everything, and then as usual, we're going to hop in the car. We're going to give you that dual view again today. We're going to give you the view of the uh, iPhone as well as the road ahead so you can see how accurate it is and when the turns come up. So without further ado, guys, because I know that there's a lot of information to put into these GPS application reviews, we're going to go over to the den, check out the user interface. So come on over there and join me now. Okay guys, so uh, here we are at the uh, in-car portion of our review, and we are reviewing the uh, N-Drive, um, kind of real world, world situation here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in navigate. Do you wish to see any help videos? No. We're gonna go to uh, point of interest, and we're gonna type in our town. So we're gonna put in Stockton, there we go, Stockton, California. Our destination, local offices, and we're gonna go to all. So we're gonna look for a post office. And that doesn't seem to be in local offices. So what we'll do is we'll go back, back, and we'll go back again. Restaurants, where to sleep, transportation, tourism, culture, visit, education, shopping, sports. So we're gonna go to all and we're gonna go to post office. So here we go, we got the post office at Hammer Ranch. That's the one we wanna go. Okay, and we will go okay, five minutes, 2.7 miles. And there we go, so we've got the uh, overview of the map there, and then we've got our uh, navigation. So as you can see on the left-hand side, we have our uh, point to the next turn, and then we have our... We have our estimated time uh, of our trip, our mileage, our estimated time of arrival, uh, our miles per hour, and up top, we have uh, what our next turn is. So our next turn is gonna be on to uh, Campora. So our next turn is on to Campora Way. So we're gonna be taking this left. And our next turn is gonna be on to LeBaron. So it's nice that it has your next turn up there at the top, guys. Uh, that's really a nice feature. As you can see, um, there are, some surrounding streets, uh, most of the surrounding streets are not there, but some of the surrounding streets are there. And it is kind of a, a muted background. Right. Okay. Um, it doesn't have anything extremely exciting. But it does have your uh, speech to text, or text to speech, I should say, speech to text, your text to speech. Okay, and as you can see right there, guys, it kind of got stuck. Okay? And that's one of the issues I kind of had with it. it kinda, sometimes it kind of sticks on those turns. And okay? now we're, uh, we're back, back in the saddle, so to speak. So, the one thing with this, uh, this navigational app, guys, this N Drive, is during my tests, it didn't seem to be extremely accurate all the time. Um, it kind of brought me around in circles sometimes when I was going to a certain spot. After point six miles, turn left. As you can see here, there's a, a couple little people that tells you that it's a park. Okay, there'll be um, other icons that'll tell you it may be a regional park or so on and so forth. 
the point of interest icons are there but they're not extremely large which is a little bit of a disappointment I don't want them extremely large but for instance here's a point of interest icon over here and I have no idea what that is um, it just kind of lo looks like a, a bone to me or a dog bone but I can't tell what that is maybe it's a school um, I think I can deduct that it's a school because I know where I am but I mean here you can see some of the uh, restaurants okay? I think that's a gas station right there but some of them it's just hard to notice if it is a um, what kind of point of interest it is so this does have some uh, lane assist on it when you get into highway modes okay so <clears throat> we make our left onto Thornton Road there and <clears throat> See, now this is where I kind of have a problem with this uh, this app, guys. Here it's telling me in a little less than a mile to make a U-turn, and we're not going to need to make a U-turn to get to the post office. So I find that a little strange. Um, you know, we're just going to be make a left-hand turn. So I, I always found that to be a, a bit odd on this application. So, but as you can see, miles, U -turn ahead. and there really is no U-turn. So, and I'll show you how what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be at a light again. So, we've got one minute. As you can see, 0.4 miles, one minute. Um, <clears throat> half a mile to the total destination we should be there at 841 zero miles per hour this is the road that we're on and our next turn is usually up there and as you can see there's a point of interest there as a visa symbol which is uh, that one's pretty easily recognizable but I have no idea what these are so like I said <clears throat> N-Drive has a little bit of work to really make this polished I mean, it'll get you from one place to another, but uh, there's a little bit of work to, to polish it up to make it the user experience really how, uh, how you would expect it for a navigational app. Now here, it's telling me to keep going straight, and as you can see by the, uh, the street cam, miles, I don't need to make a U-turn. I can make a left right here. So it's telling me to go down another 0.2 miles and then come up here and make a U-turn, which is unnecessary. So that's, that's the thing with uh, N-Drive. So it does need to be polished a little bit, not only in the user interface um, with some of, the, some of the point of interest icons, but the, the, map, um, the maps really need to be polished just a bit um, because that's not really necessary for me to go that extra mile or so so I'm just about up on the on the post office here and as you can see there's no roads there because I am in a kind of a parking lot it is kind of like a private parking lot so you don't really need any of the roads and here we are so we are into the post office so guys, that's N-Drive. Um, like I said, there's a couple things that I change about it. Um, overall, it will get you to where you're going. Uh, may just take you a little bit longer with some of the uh, odd routes that it takes. The uh, maps are a little bit muted. Um, not, not one of my favorite GPS apps. I mean, if, I, if it was free, I would definitely use it. But I'm not sure that I would... Um, pay for it you know for compared to some of the other apps that I can purchase you know like TomTom Tom or Navigon or Sigic or Telenav so um, if you have any questions on the N Drive application just give me uh, give me an email it's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com 
And uh, if you'd like to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash buy me an iPhone. If you'd like to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerf squeezer. So guys, as always, thanks for your support. We really appreciate you watching uh, the videos. Hope this helped you out in your quest to get the perfect navigational app for you. And as always, guys, have a great day.